Jan Philipp Juncker, Max Delbruck Center for Molecular Medicine. Understanding tissue regeneration on the single cell level. Today I'll speak about what this little fish, the zebrafish, can tell us about tissue regeneration. Zebrafish have the remarkable capacity that they can regenerate many parts of their bodies. For instance, if we amputate the tail fin, it grows back within two weeks. And similarly, the fish can also efficiently regenerate many other organs like the heart, the brain, or the eyes after injury. So understanding how regeneration works in the fish may help us improve regeneration in humans. But that's actually a complex problem because there are millions of cells involved and many different cell types. So during regeneration, many new cells need to be created and those cells need to acquire the correct position and the correct cell types. So we need to determine the origin of cell types, of cells as well as their cell type, their identity. How do we do that? So to identify cell types, we need to know which genes are actively expressed. We can do that by sequencing the RNA from single cells, which allows us to identify all the different cell types in a population in an unbiased manner. This technique has become available about two or three years ago, but we also need to find novel approaches to simultaneously read out cell origin, lineage history, by sequencing. Our approach uh, to address this question is based on CRISPR-Cas technology. With Cas9, we create a double-strand break in a GFP transgene. As this break gets repaired, we get formation of a genetic scar, a short insertion or deletion. These scars are somewhat variable in length and position, and we can use them as cellular barcodes for lineage tracing. This is shown here schematically on the left and in actual data on the right-hand side. So this is what the experiment looks like. We inject Cas9 into one cell stage embryo so that once the fish has about a thousand cells, each cell acquires a unique barcode that is then stably transmitted to the progeny and can then be analyzed by single cell sequencing. In this example, the three yellow cells in the tail, uh, we would identify that those are derived uh, from a common ancestor. So we can actually take this one step further by using multiple targets and analyzing the complex lineage trees by studying the gradual accumulation of scars uh, over time. <coughs> so with this approach, we can determine the lineage origin of cells. We can find out how similar development and regeneration proceed. And finally, this will allow us to start to study the molecular mechanisms that drive regeneration. So currently, we finished the method development stage, so we can now use this to study regeneration in many organs, including the heart and the brain. Thank you for your attention.